Colonel Sanders was certainly not ashamed of Jesus Christ and sharing his faith. But if you look at his Wikipedia page, it almost mentions nothing about his Christian faith. Here, Colonel Talbot talks about his sin, his need for confession, repentance, and the grace of Jesus Christ. And this is an interview that was published by 100 Huntley Street. That's a Christian uh, ministry here in Canada. Let's give Colonel a listen. I've never been a bad fellow, but I was a sinner in the fact that I was terrible on cursing. And I'm glad to do this tonight because I got to do penance to the Lord for a sin that I broke last week after nearly three years without taking God's name in vain. I had a I don't even not an altercation because that'd be a fight, wouldn't it? But anyhow, I had trouble with, with a driver that I had, and uh, we got some real hot words, and I had done some cursing. I tore it to pieces, and then the insurance man come that night, and I still hadn't got over it. I used God's name in vain three different times, and Brother Rogers prayed with me for two hours one time. Since then, getting God to forgive me, of course, I believe I could have gotten forgiveness myself. So that is uh, one reason that I, I, I'm glad to be here tonight. I'm doing penance for what I, what I did that was wrong just recently. I finally was able to get next to God to where he did help me with my cussing problem. In 1952, I had went to the World Convention of the Christian Churches in Australia, hoping that going over there with those several hundred ministers and church workers that I could get an inspiration, that it would rid me of that curse, don't you see? Well, I didn't get any good out of it. They didn't do any harm, so all right to be with a bunch of nice preachers, you know. But they didn't help my cursing one bit. So McDuff Brothers, about three and a half years ago, was holding a revival in Corbin, and it was through them and Brother Rogers and the prayer we had that I had that curse lifted. I've done fine until last week when I broke over again. And I'll tell you right now, I believe the Lord has forgiven me for it. I feel that he has. If he hasn't, there's no truth in the Bible because he said he would forgive you to repent. So I'm repenting before you folks, confessing before your folks. You know when you've had a habit so long, if you don't stay on your guard, you're liable to break it. Break the habit. I found this clip encouraging that such a famous guy would come out and be so frank and so honest about his sin, but also preach the gospel and remind himself of the wonderful grace of Christ. It is true that using the Lord's name in vain is a serious sin. It's the third commandment in Exodus 20, verse 7. You shall not take the name of the Lord in vain. In Leviticus 24, 16 says, that when you, you break this command, you're blaspheming against the name of the Lord. Colonel understood the severity of using the Lord's name in vain, and he knew that only Jesus could forgive him, and he also knew the importance of repentance. And actually, listening to him speak there reminds me of the book of 1 John, chapter 1, verses 5 to chapter 2, verse 2. This is the message we have heard from him and proclaim to you, that God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. If we say we have fellowship with him while we walk in darkness, we lie and do not practice the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus his Son cleanses us from all sin. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, He's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say we have not sinned, we make him out to be a liar, and his word is not in us. My little children, I'm writing you these things so that you may not sin, but if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. He's the propitiation for our sins and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. We sin, and everyone sins. And if we say we do not have sin, then we make God a liar, and the truth is not in us. But when we sin, we must go to Jesus Christ, seek mercy and grace, 
confess our sins. We must have sorrow for our sins and acknowledge that we've offended a God who is holy and acknowledge that the only way that we can be reconciled to God, be forgiven, is through the person and work of Jesus Christ. And Colonel also knew that he needed to cry upon God, needed to depend upon the Lord. He spent two hours in prayer confessing his sin. That is remarkable. This was a busy man, but he took priority for his life and his sin and confession of sin. But something else I got out of listening to Colonel Sanders talk is the importance of depending upon God to defeat sin in your life. And it made me think of Galatians 5.16. Walk by the Spirit and you will not gratify the sinful desires of the flesh. God has given the Holy Spirit as a gift to every Christian. Not only does the Spirit teach us, guide us, encourage us, but it empowers us to live a holy life, to defeat sin, to live, a, in essence, a victorious Christian life. Will we ever be perfect on this earth? No, but we should be progressing more and more, putting to death sin every day to the glory of Christ. Thanks for watching, and God bless.